Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to present you two new products that I just received from the Mountain Company. So the macro pad, as you can see over there, and the display pad. So we're going to look a little bit at it. So the display pad look a little bit like the Elgato Stream Deck. It's a lot more smaller. Also very interesting, you can buy their keyboard. They have a mechanical keyboard and you can attach it at the top of it. So you can save a lot of space on, the, on your office because you, you, use, you can use those macro keys. It's pretty much the same thing. You can use also this one if you want. Pretty cool feature, honestly. So when you buy the product, it will come like a, with a small duck like this, some kind of base. So you just like lock on it. And it's very sturdy and also very heavy. I'm really impressed with the uh, build quality from uh, those products, like the grip under it, the weight, the weight clips, it feels very, very premium. If we're talking a little bit about the price, this one is 79 USD dollar. So uh, pretty much a simple macro keys, they are mechanical keys. So really cool. Uh, one thing you really need to remember uh, which one does what. Uh, I guess you can custom it if you want, but uh, you don't have any display on it, so you really need to remember. The other one is $149 USD, so again, pretty cool, you have 12 keys, you have display, but honestly, it's not necessarily about the tools itself, it's more about the software, so I'm going to show you a little bit the software because... Uh, you have access to some APIs like the one from um, Twitch and also you can use the WebSocket from OBS so you can use those uh, tools to uh, upgrade your streaming setup. If we take a, a little bit like a small tour of the product, as you can see the grip over there, you have a USB-C cable, you can detach it without any issue. You're getting a nice display screen like this. Uh, you can add JPEG, GIF and other like type of image. So pretty cool and they're pretty clear. Also the feeling of it is really nice. I prefer this than my new Stream Deck uh, Plus that I bought like three months ago. Uh, it feels like a lot more clicker. It's clicky so you don't feel too mushy. And this one also is pretty cool. The only downside, like I said, you don't have the uh, display, but still USB-C cable detachable. You have a nice uh, RGB effect that you can do and it feels really good when you press on it. So now let's go inside of the software and after that, I will give you my conclusion. So now for the software part, uh, as you can see, when you just plug in your macro pad or your display pad, you will see your keypad just like this. So you just have to click customize. And after that, you will have different profile that you can do. If you want to do profile, you have the option for lighting. So if, for example, you don't like the color wave, you can switch it for tornado, change the speed, the backlight, the dire direction. So really cool stuff that you can do and customize over there. For the key binding, it's pretty easy also. You just select a key like this. And for an example, right now I connect my Twitch account and also have a dedicated WebSocket for OBS. So for an example, you just select whatever you want to do. Uh, by default, you have a couple of options with your us uh, so or with Windows if you want to, I don't know, open your task manager, your calculator or just shut down your computer. In my case, I selected uh, Twitch. And after that, you have a couple of so option that they provide you because you're connected directly with the API of Twitch. So for example, I want to create a clip when I will press M1, I will have a clip created. So pretty cool. Uh, on the second key also, I put some source that I will change uh, automatically when I press there. So it's pretty easy. You just press on a key, select something uh, us like this calculator and you're good to go. The only issue with the uh, macro pad like this, you have to remember uh, what uh, keys and what it's going to do. You don't have any uh, display. So that's why I prefer the display pad. So as you can see over there, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. You have those profile, you have the key binding over there uh, for the key binding. It's pretty easy. Again, you press on a key. So for an example, I select Twitch and I want to see the amount of viewer that I have over there. Uh, for the image, it's also pretty easy. You have a couple of image uh, by default inside of the software. You can also download some on their website, but also you can design your own if you want and just do whatever you want with this. So it's pretty cool. You just can select all your stuff. Uh, for example, my OBS like this, my clear in, you can use DaVinci Resolve. 
Honestly, I did a lot of different um, alternative for the Stream Deck from Elgato. And this software is pretty much uh, the second best one if I compare it with Elgato. It's not mature like the Elgato one with the marketplace and stuff like that. But it's working very well. So this is a really good thing. When you set up something, it will work. You, know, you don't have like any random bugs or you click on it and you, it doesn't do anything. So that's pretty cool. For macro, you can do also macro if you want. You can name a macro and do whatever you need to do with your recording over there and for the setting you can change the brightness you can change also your lock screen and this is pretty much where you will update your firmware right now they at 0.7 they do a lot of updating if you look at the software itself or the firmware of the hardware uh and now it's a lot better than it was like three months ago i really like the way it they they, they go for it they do a lot of update and they just like support their product so this is pretty much it for the software now let's go back to the conclusion so to conclude i did a lot of testing of different alternative for, for uh, the stream deck and this one honestly is pretty much the best one that you can buy if you don't want to buy a stream deck from elgato you're getting a really really good product uh, well built good quality I really like the software. I really like the way they update the firmware of the product, but also the software that you're using. Uh, it's not on par with Elgato right now with the big marketplace and stuff like that, but it's working very well. I have two different setup when I stream, uh, one on my main and one uh, on my uh, like console streaming setup. And now I'm using the display pad. It's working very great with OBS, Twitch, and the thing that I really need. So I really recommend this product. For me, this one is a 9 on 10. And this one is maybe an 8 on 10. But it's a lot cheaper, you know. Uh, it's more about, like, <laughs> I really can't memorize all my keys. I will probably need to put some sticker or whatever. But honestly, really good product. Really good, like, cable braided. You, don't, you have, like, a good quality for the price that you will pay. If you have any question on those products, just comment in the YouTube section, post me any question about it. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.